I am really excited to tell you about this book, even though it's kind of super creepy and really kind of gross in all, all the best ways. Um, it is Blue, and it is the first in a new series by Kenneth Opal, so it's the Overthrow series. And this is about, um, takes place on mostly on this small island off the coast of the Northeast. And an invasion does begin here. And the invasion is not as you'd expect, it starts with rain. And one day after it rains, um, these, these seeds were in the rain and it starts sprouting up this black grass that's going everywhere. It's ruining crops and farms and school has to close, you know, it gets worse and worse and it's releasing this horrible pollen that's making allergies like everybody has allergies. People are having trouble breathing, they, you know, they can't go outside. A lot of scary stuff that we kind of are familiar with and, um, but the plants keep growing and they almost seem intelligent. And then um, they're getting worse. So suddenly there's these huge, like you're walking on the ground and the ground opens up and can swallow animals and humans whole. And it's almost like Venus flytraps. So um, yeah, they can take humans down. It's, it's a good scene. So as they're blooming and everywhere, um, it's happening globally and nobody knows what's going on. You know, all of these scientists are trying to figure out what are these plants. But on this island, there are three teens that are not even friends. They don't have anything in common except the fact that they're actually usually allergic to some pretty severe allergies. So one girl has, she's allergic to water. Um, another girl is allergic to everything, every kind of food, every kind of, you know, allergy that we normally would have, everything. Um, but, and then there's this third, and the third boy. And the three of them are the only three that are of this entire, that anybody knows that are immune to the plants. The girl who has allergies every day is like, I can breathe fine. The girl who's allergic to water, she's like, I can be out in the rain. Nothing is bothering them. So you start to figure out like, what is their connection? Why are the symptoms not bothering them? Why are their experiences, you know, different? So it's growing and it's growing and it's getting horrible. And there's really gross scenes. Like the vines become almost intelligent where, you know, in an hour they're like growing up the house. And there's one scene where... Um, one of the girls goes to check on her mom in the middle of the night because she hears something and the vine, the black vine had crawled up around the house, grown in through the window and the vine <laughs> was go was up the mom's nose, like, like going down into her lungs. And so she's like, grab it out. She saved her mom. But after I got to that scene, I was like, oh wow. Like these are, these plants are for real. So, um... <laughs> It gets creepy and you have to figure out what is special about these three teens. What do they have in connection? Um, you know, they may be the only ones capable of fighting back. So what is their secret? And they have to figure it out fast because, you know, it's continuing to rain, which means more stuff is happening. I can't wait for you guys to read this. It is, some scenes are so, so gross. Awesome. So this is Bloom by Kenneth Opal. Um, do not try to read it while you're eating lunch or dinner or anything or a snack. It won't go well. This is also available on Libby to um, listen to or to read. So enjoy.